wide jubilation as the captain, Tom Diamond, received the trophy from the president of the Gaelic Athletic Association, Alf Murray. Yes, jubilation and joy. And soon, President de Valera was being escorted to his seat by Uthran Common Lower Class Vale, and the pattern for the big game was being set. A huge crowd of close on 80,000 had come from north, south, east and west and from lands across the sea to see this game and to pay tribute at our national anthem. And so amidst excitement, the game started with the maroon jerseyed Galway men trying to win their second successive All-Ireland title. Could they do it against the might of Kerry? That was the big question. It was a game of high promise, but there was much hard tackling. And soon John Keenan had fisted over a point for Galway. And in it came again with Galway attacking hard and a ball over the bar by Mick Garrett. Yes, Galway was settling down very quickly. But Kerry came back and to show that there was plenty of battle still in the kingdom, they narrowed the gap. Two points to one in the early stages. Bernie Callahan, the ball across the goal for Kerry, into the goal mouth of Martin Newell for Galway, coming out with one of his long relieving clearances. Clearances that were to be the highlights of this great game. Pat Dumbo now for Galway, trying to open up the play with this fast-moving Galway forward line. Cyril Dunn now to get the ball across, where Seamus Layden runs onto it, and Layden has it now 60 yards out from the Kerry team. Right up to full forward, Sean Cleary roaming out from the goal, and Sean sending a high one right into the goal rather than Johnny Cullity, a fine save for Kerry, clearing his lines. But Galway in the attack again. Pat Dunlan once more in possession. The dropping ball in towards the goal mouth. And the referee awarding a free which is sent over by Galway to increase their lead still further. Back come Kerry. A high one that has gone. Yes, over the bar. A good point there for Kerry by Mick O'Dwyer. In around the goal mouth now, Johnny Cullity for Kerry coming out with his... Back protecting them to clear once again. But the referee has penalised the Kerry men and there is a free for Cyril Dunn to score another point for Galway. Seamus Layton in possession now. And it is yet another score which Christy Churchill makes sure the umpire signals and it's Galway the clear leaders. Dennis O'Sullivan for Kerry trying to open up the play as he solves his way up along the right wing. A high ball that's heading in towards the goal but drifts away and goes wide. Soon there's compensation for that one as Bernie O'Callaghan sends over another Kerry point. And at half time, Galway lead by seven points to four. Can the traditional fight back of Kerry get them into the game or can that equally traditional great fight and vigor of Galway earn them the title? This is the question that has to be answered within a half an hour. And soon after the start, Kerry set up an attack on the Galway goal. But men like Bosco McDermott and Martin Newell break up the attack. Martin, well up the field now. And the referee has awarded another free to Galway. Taken by Pat Donlan, close on 50 yards out. It's high and it's good. It's over the bar. But Kerry come back and Barry O'Callaghan sends over to narrow the gap once again. Again, it's Kerry attacking. In the early stages of this second half, they do everything to try to pull down the lead. A great save there by Johnny Garrity in the goal right goal, and he fouls the forward there, and there's a free for Kerry to be taken by Bernie Callahan. And Bernie sends it over for another point for Kerry. Kerry pressing hard. Mick O'Connell. Across now to Derry O'Shea. Derry O'Shea, goal hungry, a low ball in towards the goal mouth. That is cleared by the mighty Noel Tierney, and it is a fine clearance for Galway. Nick O'Connell again sending Kerry into the attack, and once more the Galway defence is up against it. And once more it stands firm as Sean Mee clears well up the field. But it's Mick O'Connell in possession, centre field once again for Kerry. 
Noel Tierney getting hold of the ball, but being robbed in the ball. In towards the goal mouth now. John Joe Barrett takes a shot that's just gone wide. And Kerry still trail, but Kerry still attack. Another great save by Johnny Garrity in the Galway goal. Added to by Bosco McDermott. And away come Galway again. But again, it's Mick O'Connell in the centre of the field, having a fine game at this stage, tipping the ball to Dennis O'Sullivan. And Dennis starting a solo run up along the right wing. Into Jojo Barrett. Barrett going further in. Bernie Callan tries to get to it, but out comes Noel Tierney to John Donlan, and John Donlan fouls the ball on the ground, and there is a free for Kerry. Bernie O'Callaghan taps it over the bar, and now there's very little between them, just one point. Galway, eight points, Kerry, seven. But back come Galway, they have weathered the storm and come back into the attack. Yes, Kerry had pressed and pressed. They've got within one point of Galway, but now it's Galway's turn to press again as Seamus Layton races through in typical style. Right into the ground, one of the forwards fouled and a free for Galway, dead straight in front of the goal. And Cyril Dunn is the taker and Cyril Dunn is the scorer. Galway stretching their lead now and settling down once again to play their own particular fine brand of football. Packed on with a high one, in and over the bar, another point for Galway. And although Kerry's great challenge seems to have ebbed away, they still battle back. And the ball goes over the line. There is a line ball for Kerry taken by Mick Morris. Into the center. And down it comes with the Galway defense sending to Mick Garrett in the center of the field and attacking again. Sir Getting the right wing to Matty McDonough. Matty trying to cut his way through now. It's held as he goes through, and there's another free for Galway. Cyril Dunn once again the taker, and Cyril Dunn once again the scorer. Yes, it looks at this stage that the All-Ireland Championship is going west again. Now, just...